Good morning, afternoon, evening, everyone. Um, I I hope you're all doing well. I mistakenly assumed that the Google form that you did in class during Flex on Thursday of last week was going to serve as a substitute for this presentation that you're sitting through today in Carrington Hall. So my apologies. I had originally planned that you all were going to have this time today in class as a clarifying question period where you could get help and feedback with your Global Issues presentation before it's due at 11.59 p.m. tonight. And instead, I'm making this video as a little substitute with just some reminders for things that you should be thinking about when you do this presentation. So let's start with the text that you've chosen and 90% of you have chosen a text that you're going to analyze. Those of you who still haven't chosen, you need to send me an email and hopefully you're watching this video. Um, also, for those of you who were like, oh, I have anxiety or I get really nervous um, or like I worry that I'm not doing things right and those letters that you sent me, this is also just like a practice of like letting go that need for perfectionism. And I am a recovering perfectionist, so I feel you. And this is like less about you doing something perfectly. And it's more about two things. So one, it's about practicing that move from concrete to abstract that we went over in class. And then the second thing is for you to practice doing this application of these different global issues that we took notes on in class um, last week and also this week too. So as your teacher, I don't really know like what you need to be taught. And like, this is like a sampling or like a litmus test to see what you can produce um, to see like what other practice we need to do in the future. Um, or like where I need to maybe do some more clarification in the way that I explain things. Okay, so like, yes, it's a proof of your learning, but it's also informing like what I'm gonna be doing in the future. So that's why I need you to do this because I don't know what you know unless you take what's inside your head and you put it into that slideshow. All right, you're gonna think about your text and you're gonna think of it as almost like if you have a scientific brain, you're thinking of it as like a data set. You're looking at everything that has happened within the text, everything that happens to the character, maybe like topics that are explored within the text that you've chosen. And for some of you, you have like very rich text where there's so many things that you can talk about. From there, and some of you have already done this, you're gonna choose one of your trios that you wanna focus on for your analysis. From there, you're going to think about, okay, concretely, what are some of the things that are happening to these characters that fit within that trio? Because a trio is kind of like the universal umbrella, the concrete things, the way it shows up, that's more specific and applicable to your text. Now, here's the juicy part. Some of you are saying things like, oh, I want to focus on religion in this text, or I want to focus on gender in this text. Those things, to reiterate what I said in class on Monday and Tuesday, those things in themselves are not issues. It's not an issue to be religious. It's not an issue to have, be gendered. Um, the issue comes about when like those things come into contact with something else. And that's where you need to start thinking about like what's going on in your text. Oh yeah, big one, mental health. Like some of you are saying, I wanna talk about mental health. Like mental health is not in itself an issue. It's usually when like mental health is ignored or when certain structures are in place that like exacerbate the conditions that prevent us from being mentally healthy. So you need to start thinking beyond just like your, your one thing that you're focusing on. You need to think like, why is it happening? What is it in conflict with? And then that's going to be the focus of your presentation. So as an example, gender, like I said before, in itself is not an issue. But if I have a text where it's really focusing heavily, like I see like, oh, there's like obvious sexism that's happening. Um, then you need to think about like, okay, how is the sexism happening? And like, what is the consequence of that? What are the effects on the characters? Um, and then that's gonna be the focus of your presentation. So like sexism, yes, it is a global issue, but then more specifically, like there's so many ways that sexism can exist. So 
sexism can be like, oh, do gender norms. Gender norms also are not necessarily an issue. It becomes an issue when like people subscribe very strictly to the gender norms or when the gender norms become this like prescriptive way for how people should act. Like that's when it becomes an issue. So just moving yourself a little bit more, moving your thinking a little bit more specifically, moving your thinking towards um, thinking in terms of like cause and effect, and then also moving your thinking to think about like, what is your topic? Like what's the tension within the text and how is it explored? Tension or like conflict for those of you who remember like fictional literary devices. Um, so talk about how your idea creates conflict for the characters or conflict within the song or whatever it is that you're focusing on. Okay, I've talked a lot. I don't wanna talk anymore because I don't want to confuse you or create more confusion. Okay, 11.59 PM, you're gonna turn into Canvas, whatever you got going on. I'm gonna look at it tomorrow morning when I wake up and I'm gonna like make note of like, okay, we need to clarify these things that are happening in these presentations. When you come into class, we're gonna have some time, probably like 20 minutes or so for you to put finishing touches on your presentation, ask clarifying questions if you have them. And then we're gonna get started with a little bit of sharing. So sharing is not gonna be one person in front of the whole class sharing your presentation. Um, we're gonna do sharing a little bit more creatively and a little more low stakes for those of you who were like, oh my gosh, I hate speaking in front of the class. Um, so we're doing, gonna be taking like little baby steps, little, little levels of um, risk associated with our public speaking that we do, or just like talking to other people, which you really need to get used to because you, our juniors in high school. All right, see you soon. Bye.